Hi everybody, it's Andrew here from Tutorial Soup. Uh, following on from our last tutorial, I'm going to show you a little bit more about the canvas. I'm going to show you how to add a few shapes, um, a little bit more colour, and I'm going to introduce you to a little bit of JavaScript. Uh, so first things first, we jump over to our text file. I'm just going to um, I'm just going to sort of add a little bit of indentation uh, to my text because it's looking a little bit messy. Um, it's always cool to add a little bit of indentation. Um, it just makes things look a lot better. You can sort of find things easier. So, um, yeah. That looks pretty good. So I'm going to save that. Um, right. I'm also going to just include a little bit of um, meta information. So, just say UTF stroke 8. Yeah. That looks pretty cool. So save that. That's just a little bit of uh, information about the character set. Um, the encoding of the character set. Um, right now, I'm going to include a script tag within our head up here. So I'm going to do the opening and closing brackets or tags. Um, basically, when you when you include JavaScript within your HTML, you'd usually do it as an external file, much like your uh, much like your CSS file. Um, but just for this tutorial, for these few tutorials, I'm going to include it in line within the HTML. So don't worry. Uh, I know a lot of you are probably thinking this is the wrong way to do it, but um, it, you know, it's just it's just to make it a little bit easier at the start. Uh, we we will probably put it in, the, in an external file later on. Um, so. I'm going to tell tell the um, document that the type is JavaScript, and this is where I'm going to put my code. Now, in order to draw on the canvas, we need to know that all the elements of the page are finished loading. This is so um, that the document is fully loaded before the JavaScript gets executed. So, in order to do that, we include a simple little function called uh, window.onload. Um, so, what we're saying is uh, once the window um, is fully loaded, we're going to call a function. And this function is where we are going to write our code. So we can test that this is working properly. Um, so what we want to do is once the window has fully loaded, so once we refresh it um, and once it's fully loaded, we're going to get it to say hello. So if I now go over to my document and press refresh, something didn't work so window download equals function blah, 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 blah. okay um, basically the reason why this isn't working right now is a very simple thing um, when I defined the type JavaScript I forgot to put text stroke JavaScript um, so if I now save that and refresh the screen um, up pops the alert box saying hello so we now know that this code is working so if we get rid of the alert so now we're going to start drawing some shapes to the canvas um, eventually further down the line we we're gonna uh, we're gonna be making a game um, we're gonna be we're gonna make it so you can move characters around the screen but for now we have to start from somewhere so um, I'm gonna put a rectangle on the screen um, in order to do this we need to um, we need to access something called the context, um, the 2D context of the canvas. 
So I'm going to access the 2D context uh, like so. Variable. So I'm going to create a new variable, um, and this variable is going to equal document dot get element by ID this element. So what I'm going to do is I'm accessing the document and I want to uh, grab this element here so I'm going to put game ca canvas and now the game canvas is going to be saved in the variable game. Um, so now in order to get the context I'm going to access the game variable get context 2d um, so now this is going to allow me to um, draw some cool uh, shapes on the actual canvas itself um, all I have to do is call call to the te the context variable um, like so so I'm gonna go context fill rectangle um, now because because the actual uh, default color of a rectangle is going to be black um, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a different color so it doesn't um, disappear when I put it to the canvas. So I'm going to put fill style. Um, this is going to be RGB. It's going to be a RGB value. So two five five. Hopefully this should. Oh, put that there. So I'm first going to define the color of the rectangle, um, and that's going to be um, an RGB value of um, 25500. Uh, um, now, the fill rectangle method takes um, four arguments. Um, so the first, the first ones are the position within within the canvas. Um, so that's the x y axis. Um, going from the top left of the page, so it's 100 pixels across and 100 pixels down. And now we're going to define the um, size of the shape. So we're going to create a rectangle 200 pixels by 200 pixels. So now if I save this and refresh, um, as you will see we've now got a red rectangle sitting on the screen. Um, you can also create more if you need to. So we can create another rectangle, we can do this 200, um, 200 across 200 down and create that, make that 50 by 50 and save and refresh um, can't see that one let's go further down there we go further across I mean <laughs> so the first rectangle is 100 across and 100 down and then we have created the actual rectangle itself is 200 by 200 so the first two arguments are the position from the XY axis um, going from the top left of the screen so X and Y and then it's the width and the height and, and then the next one is 400 across and 200 down and 50 in width and 50 in height so so that shows you 
how easy, relatively easy it is to um, draw shapes to the canvas. Um, there is there is a more efficient way of drawing this function because um, the window uh, the window dot on load function isn't actually that great. It, it's maybe a little bit clunky. So what we're going to introduce in the next tutorial, um, I'm going to introduce you to jQuery, which is basically just JavaScript, um, just made simpler and and it's a lot easier to use, and um, you'll be able to create things a lot quicker. Um, so that's it for this tutorial. Um, in the next tutorial I'll show you how to do um, lines and I'm going to also show you how to, you can create circles. Um, in a few tutorials time we'll be animating these shapes so they can move around the screen. Um, so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial um, and I will see you in the next one.